Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Gil. The channel is GB Winging It. And today, I would like to talk to you guys about the latest two accessories that I added to this motorcycle for additional comfort and safety. Because if you're not comfortable, you can't be safe. I'm gonna jump off here and give you a brief description of Wonderlix Ergo 38 millimeter risers that come up 38 millimeters and come down and towards you 27 millimeters aiding in the comfort also I'd like to talk to you guys about the Sergeant Sato I'm gonna jump off and give you guys a nice little look and description of get you guys a look at the R1250 GS Adventure and I wanted to share with you two additional accessories that I recently added for comfort the first of which is the sergeant saddle this is the performance plus sergeant saddle and uh, it's comfortable you guys know anytime you want to upgrade your motorcycle seat uh, one of the first things you do is look to the aftermarket and that's what I did I have some experience with sergeant and I think they're comfortable I've owned a Corbin in the past and a few of the saddlemen saddles and I decided for my money and for my time that I will go with the Sergeant Performance Plus with the Griptex saddle. Yeah, I went with the black with the red stripe and it matches very nicely with the red on the R1250 GS Adventure and the red on the passenger seat I don't know if I'm going to go with the uh, pillin seat but for now I'm very happy and very comfortable with this now you guys are, are familiar with the Sa uh, Sergeant Performance Plus it has that supercell atomic foam and that's, that's that proprietary blend and uh, there's supposed to be some vibration absorption qualities but bottom line the seat foam is just basically wider than stock and contoured to enhance or so they say and distribute lateral support and pressure evenly so that's the first one sergeant saddle this is the first of two accessories that I recently added the second of which are my wonder lick my wonder lick Ergo fit risers. That's right. These are Wonderlick Ergo fit risers, and basically it brings my handlebars back and down about 38 millimeters or so. So basically, you get an increase of 38 millimeters in height, and it's 27 millimeters closer to me. So again, th this is basically for comfort, bringing it a little bit closer. And further down so that's going to alleviate any pinched pressure that I may feel in my upper back while riding uh, they say it improves the handling I think it looks beautiful beautiful I think it looks beautiful and it feels good I can't say enough about the comfort that I am getting from these two accessories I just added first off this sergeant saddle or any saddle that you add to your bike that gives you more surface to sit on is going to be more comfortable it just distributes your weight a little bit better especially if the foam is, is and the padding is, is such that you feel supported and that's what's going on here with me and the sergeant saddle I've used sergeant in the past it, it's nice I've used Corbin in the past it was nice after a few thousand miles but let's stay on topic here we have a hard time doing that because again I have motorcycle ADD I guess we all have that <laughs> yeah so I'm riding this sergeant saddle for the past month or so and I figured I'd give you 
somewhat of a review on it after I rode it for a while and that's where we're at now. It is comfortable. I mean, anytime you're sitting down and you're not thinking about sitting down or squirming around, you're in good hands. And that's how I feel about this, this saddle here. I mean, I'm fortunate enough that I have a 33 inch inseam, so I'm not troubled by the additional height or the width of the saddle taking away from stability of me dropping my feet down. So I'm good on both, I'm good on both sides. But I could see how something like that may be a concern if you are working with a 30 inch inseam or, or even a 31 and you're riding your saddle in the high position. Now for the record, I am 6'1", 212 pounds with a 33 inch inseam and I am comfortable on R1250 GS Adventure with the saddle in the high position. For my comfort, I will run this bike high in the front and low in the back. Leave in the comments, how do you run your seating setup? whether it's stock or aftermarket. Now, the second accessory that I added, oh my God, the, what took me so long to do this? I mean, it doesn't sound like that much, 38 millimeters up, 27 back, but it just places your hands in such a sweet spot. Oh, you have to love it. You gotta love it, guys. The pinch is gone. And I have to tell you, I, I've ignored the discomfort with the stock setup for a while. I mean, I've got long arms, as you can see. Uh, I, I've ignored it, but I didn't realize how much more comfortable I could get by adding some risers. I will leave a link in the description below to the Wonderlick Ergo bar risers for the R 1200 and 1250 GS Adventure I will also leave a link to the Sergeant Sport Performance Plus seat that I am running you guys enjoy the rest of your day this is GB winging it and I am out Just fitted the Wonderlick risers to the R1250 GS Adventure and a Sergeant saddle. That's right, comfort's king.